Okay, I'm working on this uh, Transit Vans uh, rear uh, wheel on the driver's side. What I notice on this rear wheel is that when you try to turn it, it, it appears that it doesn't turn very much. The other side, if I do this, it turns really easy. So, um, obviously this is not good because it decreases gas mileage. So, I've already tried to uh, take the drum off once and uh, adjust it, but apparently it's still causing a problem. So, I'm going to have to adjust it. I'm just going to show you how I adjusted it. So now, the little bit of adjusting I did do, at least I can actually turn the rotor and take the rotor off. At first, it wouldn't let me do that much. Um, so, from what I can see here, it appears... that this piece right here is the part that pushes out these rotors. I don't really know for certain, but I believe that's how it works. So there's a little clip down here that keeps it from turning the other direction. So I push that down and then I twist this little knob like this in order to get this whole thing to go in to keep it from scrubbing the drum so I'll keep trying to do this until it gets to a point where I can freely turn the wheel once I put it back on so I'm pretty sure there's a tool for this but right now this is the only way I'm doing it is uh, with these pliers here so once I loosen it up Hopefully, you know, it'll be better. And I put the drum back on. Seems to spin easier, I don't know. Instead of putting the tire back on, I could just put these nuts back on. So what I'm noticing is that when I tighten these nuts, it's still tight. The whole thing is tight. I don't know why. So I don't know. It could be something is wrong with the brake pads. I may have to replace the brake pads. I don't know. I mean, the, the bearings don't feel loose or anything. So I'm not sure what's going on here. I think, I think it could have something to do with the brake pads. When it's screwed on, it might be not quite, um, it might be scrubbing in the back. All right, so I figured out what the problem was. When you tighten the hub, or when you tighten the drum up against this uh, hub here, um, it was starting to scrub right here. And the reason why it was scrubbing right here is because this piece here was actually kind
kind of down in this area here. So I had to pick it up and push it back that way onto um, the cylinder here. Now I'm not exactly sure if the cylinder is, uh, if the notch is facing the correct way on the cylinder. Um, the notch is right here on this side here. Maybe it should be put over here on this side to keep it from coming back this way. But for now, um, this is pushed back. I'm trying to get some good light here. Pushed back this way so that it doesn't scrub on this when this is rotating. So now what I have to do is put all of this uh, back together and I'm probably going to have to tighten it back up the other direction uh, just to try to, uh, you know, so it's not so loose now because I loosened it up quite a bit. But other than that, I think that's, that's pretty much all it is now. So now with the hub back on, put these screws back on, these nuts back on. So it's much, much better now. I mean, you could spin it just fine now. So that's what the problem was that that was put this direction here. Now I do hear something. I don't know what that is. It's something that's stopping it right there. So I'll have to take it apart again. So now that the tire's back on, um, I've tried it again, and it seems to be doing just what it's supposed to do now. Uh, initially, the problem was uh, making a scraping noise when you press the brake, um, and that's what it was. It was that um, the brake pads were out of alignment inside of the drum, and it was scraping against the rotor. So that's what it was, so, but yep, now it's good. As you can see, it turns just fine, just like the other one on the other side. So that's all that one needed.